National trade is likely to occupy the majority of conversations taking place at the annual meeting of the Inter-American Development Bank. And to help me discuss international trade ahead of the event, I'm joined by Vika Gronenberg, who is the Global Head for Emerging Market Strategy at BNP Paribas. Vika, thank you for joining me. Thank you. So we have quite a lot to digest. Um, the US has taken now a more nationalistic and protectionist stance, while China has become a vocal defendant and promoter of globalization. Where does this leave Latin America? Yeah, that's uh, indeed a very interesting development. Um, for Latin America, I don't think it will mean that much uh, in the months ahead, with the exception of Mexico, that may be very much affected by a change in NAFTA. Um, Latin America has been a, a big exporter of products to China over the past few years. So if you look at countries such as Brazil, at Chile, at Peru, you'll find that their biggest export destiny is in fact China, with about 20% of exports going there. It's much higher than to the US. But the exception, of course, is Mexico. Mexico is very closely linked to the US economy, with 80% of its exports going to the US. And so that's, uh, those are the two perhaps uh, um, focal points that uh, we need to focus on. So Mexico very much busy in uh, anticipating possible negotiations um, and, hof and hopefully not a repeal of NAFTA, hopefully for them, of course, because they've grown dependent on, as you said, uh, exports to the US. But Brazil also needs to recalibrate its uh, relationship with China now that uh, uh, the Asian economy is rebalancing also its development plan. <laughs> Uh, and perhaps moving away from the vast demand of commodities. Um, at the same time, Latin America should maybe focus on exporting more added value products. So where, at what stage do you think Brazil is in this uh, rebalancing exercise? Yeah, it's correct that Brazil's exports are predominantly um, commodity products. In fact, uh, about 60% or so are commodity products. Um, a lot of that is agriculture and a lot of that is iron ore. For now, China is a big importer of those, but over time that will change as indeed its economy becomes more service oriented and less manufacturing oriented. I think that is an issue for the next few years. It's not so much an issue for this year. So I think this year I would expect to see a solid growth in Brazil. Um, after the deep recession that it was in the last uh, few years, very much helped by the export sector into China. But it's not just China, it's global growth that has been picking up um, considerably mm -hmm. over the past and year. Surprisingly, perhaps, uh, even with the latest figures coming in. Um, uh, can I also ask you about other countries in Latin America, for example, Chile and its relationship with, uh, with Asia and China, also the other countries that uh, rest on the Pacific side? of uh, the region. So Chile has been particularly, um, I would say perhaps forward thinking in trying to export uh, more added value products to, uh, to Asia, so from uh, copper now to Chilean wines. So is it a trend that we'll continue to see in those countries that perhaps are more um, embracing orthodoxy um, in, their, in their macroeconomic policies? It's correct that Chile has been a much more open country already for many years, much more than most of the other Latin American countries. But still for Chile, commodity exports are absolutely key. So mm -hmm. copper, as you mentioned, are still the biggest, it's still the biggest component of their exports. And hence that's why it's so closely linked to the ups and downs of the Chinese economy as well as world growth. But as you said, they have been uh, moving into other export products also, and that will over time become a bigger part of their total export mix. So definitely a relationship that is moving and hopefully not going to be derailed by uh, big announcements or perhaps scandals that, are, that keep on exploding uh, around the region uh, and sadly the world. So thank you very much for thank joining you. me. Thank you.